Hello, test, test. Can you all hear me? It's a me. It's a Cassie. Hi. Hi, guys. Already so many people joining. Whoop, whoop. Uh, do I need to set anything else up? Yeah, probably the desktop audio. But hey, I have people in the stream. People are listening. People can hear me. Woohoo. That's cool. <laughs> so I'm all by myself today and I'm going to be uh, doing the next uh, level Patreon TLD Scullyver thingy. Whoop. V is in chat. Way. <laughs> And of course, I'm wearing my Ralph Gulliver <laughs> just to hype me up for drawing this stuff. Love you too, V. Hearts. Whoop whoop. Love you all in chat, guys. <laughs> so, what do we have on the agenda today? Apart from uh, drawing the Gulliver thingy, the we're doing we're going to be doing the Zoltana Gulliver next. Uh. You are free to tell me if you uh, have any ideas how to maybe uh, make it better because I think it is the weakest of the designs, but uh, maybe some of you have some inputs on that. Uh, Cassie Day, Cassie Day, yay! <laughs> <laughs> the pet card isn't available, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't think I know, uh, I unfortunately cannot make the make the petting stuff work because I, the bot doesn't run on my computer. I still run on Windows 10 and uh, it needs at least Windows 8 to, to run that bot. So I might have to update my system eventually. <laughs> Definitely blood and wolf fur. Yeah, that's an idea. But like, I, I, uh, I personally, when I designed the, the, the uh, skulls, wanted to take elements that are wholesome in some way and like kind of really related to the character's arc and i don't think blood might work but maybe the wolf's fur not so much i don't think the wolf's fur has anything uh on the zoltana character arc <laughs> you cassie computer stretch goal yeah if you want to donate to that <laughs> to that end you are free to uh i don't know send something via coffee i think we have a coffee at real dragon sand or something i'm not sure <laughs> but it's not going to happen anytime soon <laughs> what about her wedding ring exactly her wedding ring is definitely part of the design you will see it in a second i wait i can already switch over to my screen you don't need to see my fucking face all this fucking time. <laughs> uh, okay, you see nothing? Okay, that's because I'm dumb. Okay, there we go. There's a screen. And I'm gonna reveal the design I have, the sketch I have so far. And this is it. Whoopsie. Yep, definitely rainbow colors. Definitely like a little bit, uh, the sh like a pinky, not pinky shade. <laughs> Uh, like as um, one of the shades from the um, the lesbian flag. There's a forget me not in here. There's the um, the wedding rings intertwined in here, and of course a thunder heart. <laughs> but I think it's still lacking a little bit. Like, yeah, it's kind of related to Zoltana, but it's mostly playing on like I don't know, like the gay agenda or the gay agender, <laughs> as Kyle uh, said in chat today. <laughs> but yeah. Um, ah! <laughs> I was thinking of maybe like a wolf in the background. But again, it's like, it's a symbol of Zoltana, but it's not really tied into her character arc. She didn't really have like that much of a character arc with the, with the wolves, in my opinion. So yeah, you are free to chime in at any moment. I might not always read the text because I find it really hard to focus on drawing and uh, reading. I think you can still use the highlight feature, like the, the one that costs like 100 sand. So uh, <laughs> if you really, really want to shout out to me, I will try to uh, skip to those because <laughs> the chat might move on very fast. What about a double one? Oh, a double one, <laughs> a double one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's part of her character arc, but she is not, she isn't a double one. So maybe like, I don't know. Notice me, senpai. I noticed you, Aethor. <laughs> I don't know, like maybe a, 
A, a, a snake slain with <laughs> a knife or something. I don't know. Like, it, it would be really hard to put a broadsword on this because it's a very tiny object already. A merit or slut. Wait, what? But maybe. Oh! Oh, the tattoo that Ral licked off her. I get what you're meaning. <laughs> yeah, that might work. I, I Maybe I could uh, erase the, the flower thingies and put it here. I don't know. I mean, that, that would be probably better than the flowers. I just had the flowers there because I had the idea of putting flowers in every uh, every of the designs. That's why you, ha why you have... Oh, you cannot see it. Hang on. Let me switch to the chatting thingy so you can see it. There's a flower in here. Whoa. Here. On the thingy. On the flask. I don't know where the fuck I'm pointing. Where are my boobs? Over here. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's why I had the flowers in there. I can definitely do without the flowers. <laughs> um, I just put forget me nuts there because I really like forget me nuts and she does not forget our dead, so. <laughs> Someone clip that. Hi, <laughs> <I> derbs. <laughs> Maybe closed eyes with a tear. I feel like Zatanna crying is much is such a part of her learning to be more emotionally open. That is true. Eh. And canonically, all the Skullivers have sort of like tears coming from the, like the original Skulliver have. <laughs> uh, yeah, the original Skulliver has like the blood tears. The uh, Lafian one has the gold tears. Uh, the Ral one has, uh, I think it has acid tears. <laughs> I have to look for myself. It doesn't actually have tears coming out now that I notice it, like out of one eye maybe, but not out of both. Yeah, sometimes I forget where the fuck my boobs are. I have to look for them. <laughs> They're always in random places. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> I will be playing some TLD one-offs uh, in the background because uh, I cannot entertain you for, I don't know, two or three hours, however long we're doing this. My voice will not hold up. I'm not a talker. <laughs> Um, yeah. So if you want to listen along, you can. If you don't want to listen along, that's on you. <laughs> you can still chat along if you want to. Um, where's the... Hang on. Oh. Did I kill something? Oh, there we go. I forgot I put the, um, the little thing underneath my, my, my camera that you know what I'm going to be listening to. <laughs> Do I have something to get off my chest? Yes, my boobs. Thanks. Do you want them? I don't need them. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I'm just going to start the audio now. <laughs> um, I'm going to mute myself. I will respond in chat if I remember to. And again, if you want to really be like, hey, notice me, senpai! Remember to use your sand because you're not going to be using it otherwise today. I cannot, I don't think the chest thingy is uh, open right now, so meh. Okay, going to start the audio now. And we're listening to something fishy, sexy battle wizards. And we're probably going to, going to do one or two because I'm only going to be doing this for like two or three hours. And these one-offs are really long. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now, bye. We find ourselves a year before the death of Sabras in an unfamiliar place, Galveston in southern Kino. The continent is united behind a single government and the resistance hides in the shadows. Even though we are getting to know the deeds of a rogue Kino initiative task force, there are others. In this long and girthy tale, we follow a sexy threesome as they mingle their way and share an intimate experience as they come together to solve a big, hard task. Will their prowess in the bedroom win the day? Perhaps their skills with their mighty weapons? Or perhaps their mage's agile fingers will bring the story to a climax? I guess we're about to find out, as we welcome our friend Ned from Encounter Party to the third side story of The Lucky Die. Warning. This episode gets raunchy and crude. Listener discretion advised.
So, uh, for today's session, we're going to be doing something a little bit different from the beaten path. We're going to be playing Sexy Battle Wizards. Ooh. Uh, we're going to go into character creation first. Uh, we're going to go around, around the proverbial table here and have each of you make your character. And then I'll do a quick concept of what the mechanics are so everybody understands how this game works because it's a little weird. And uh, then we're going to do some real stupid shit for like an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, to start off with, and this is for all three of you to do, uh, Sexy Battle Wizards works like this. You have three stats, Sexy, Battle, and Wizard. Sexy is you use to uh, charm cuties with your slick style and rock and bod, and I'm reading this straight off the sheet. This is how it's described. <laughs> Battle is uh, harm your foes with your mighty martial prowess. And then Wizard, which is you weave the eldritch arts of magic. Uh, I need all of you to rate your stats uh, one, two, and three. Three being your most powerful stat, one being your weakest. And this is going to come into play later when I explain how the mechanics are going to work for uh, success and failure. Done. So, Done. let's start with V first. So V, we're going to make uh, the aspects of your character, and then you can tell us uh, their race, since this is all going to be taking place in Kino. Mm -hmm. and uh then we'll move on so v first off we're going to find out why are you so sexy roll a d6 please that is a three three you are sexy because of your impeccable pristine style impeccable style okay i think that works well and next we need to figure out what your signature weapon is uh roll 2d10 Pick one that's going to be the first, and then one that's going to be the second. Yep. Uh, seven is the first. Okay. And six is the seven. Second. Six is the second? Yep. So your signature weapon is an ember cannon. Okay. Which is actually funny, because that's actually one of the examples in the art for the one-page sheet, is a ember cannon being shown as, like, a pistol. Oh, cool. Can I make it a Derringer? Sure. Excellent. I feel like you should make it your walking cane. No, no, it's a Derringer. It fits really well with the character. That works. And now, finally, we need to figure out what your school of magic is. Sure. Uh, roll a d6, please. One. Okay, a one. Your magic school is the lore of light. Cool. Now, what that means is uh, very ambiguous and essentially up to you as long as it fits within that concept but we'll go into that later okay um all right so then what is uh your character's race and i guess name as well is kind of sort of you know a little bit important my character is a tabaxi because sex kitten why wouldn't i do that um uh -huh. her name is jessica she has mostly wears like a long red robe which shows a lot of her leg all the way up to like her underwear line um and she has flowing like red hair on the top and she wears purple gloves nice okay so that is character number one done we have Jessica the tabaxi all right then uh why don't we have uh ned you go next then well hello with a d6 hi so d6 for why are you so sexy a two <gasps> Two. You are sexy because of your majestic hair, be beard, or mustache. Or whatever mixture you would like. Copy that. <laughs> <laughs> and then 2d10 for just... your signature, <laughs> signature weapon. Uh, pick one to be the first, and then one to be the second. Nine, then one. You have a rift hammer as your signature weapon. A rift hammer? That's what the description is. You, it, nine is a rift, and then one is hammer. <laughs> okay. So you have a rift hammer. Ready for it. <laughs> and then finally, your magic school. D6, please. Three. You are skilled in the secrets of occult shadowmancy. Copy. I feel like you two okay, are going to so argue I'm, about your magic. I have. What I'm hearing is you're essentially like an overly charismatic necromancer with like the full fucking wizard beard. Bringing romance back to necromancy. <laughs> yeah. And then just a giant fucking hammer. A giant, like, purple, like, void, shadowy looking hammer. So, but with majestic facial hair. 
Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you, you've got those, Oh, you like... have a Fu Manchu going on. Fu Manchu. Ooh. So <laughs> this is going to be a little weird with the, the race that I've chosen, but I think it's going to work out real nice. <laughs> what is your race? So everyone, please meet Bear Hug the Bugbear. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you have extra facial hair then. Yeah, Bear Hug just... the Bugbear has a perfectly quaffed, I would say mane, but it's his entire body. He's a bugbear. <laughs> So quaffed fur, and then on top of that fur, he has grown out certain places so that he has a full, gorgeous handlebar mustache, and he has a <laughs> luscious beard, and it's very distinct on top of the hair because the hair is so well-groomed. So he, is, he has groomed fur, and then a handlebar mustache and a full, luxurious beard. <laughs> He wears a, uh, uh, just a loincloth. <laughs> he doesn't no need, need to hide the goods. Nope, nope, no nope. need to hide everyone, it. Everyone needs to be able to see what Bear Hug the Bugbear is bringing. Absolutely. I love it. Love it. All right. And Aethor, D6 yes. for why you so sexy. That's a four. A four. All right. That means that you are sexy because of your amazing bone structure. I buy it. What, what does that mean? That could be like high cheek. Yeah, bones. it's all about oh, cheek okay, bones. Yeah. Like, I was just thinking like dance. <laughs> I had no. no idea. Like, like, oh yeah, yeah, you have really dense bones. It's hot. Those gorgeous cheekbones. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm all about it. Oh, he has no muscles. His bones are just protruding in like in all the right places. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like I don't want to know. He's got like an over just a skeleton, so he looks looks super like buff, but it's just ribcage. Oh my! All right, so let's see. Next one, two d ten, please. Uh, what pick one to be one, one to be the other? All right, I got a zero and a three, or ten and a three. Ten and a three. You have a doom whip. What a dope name! <laughs> Do so I'm playing. So I'm playing. We spell mod, right? <laughs> we spell I suppose. mod. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I don't get the reference. And and I'm I need not a to. d6 <laughs> for your right. magic school, please. All right, that's a two. Two. Your magic school is the Path of Beasts. Actually, that works really well with the whip. <laughs> You're a beast master. All right, yeah, uh, so uh, meet uh, Larry the Wizard. Uh, Larry is a, a drow uh, who has like a scraggly brown beard that is just patchy and isn't filled in all the, all the right places. But uh, he makes up for what he lacks in grooming with just impeccable like cheeks and jawline. Like it, it's that like uh, chat picture on the internet. Just like, just like he says something, he commands presence. Uh, he's sexy wearing, elf bod. Yeah, and he's uh, wearing a red rope, uh, and like the quintessential red rope with like a red wizard hat with like a star on it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. So, uh, mechanic wise, for how this works, is those stats that we were talking about. So, uh, each of you should have by now assigned a three, a two, and a one to each of the three stats sexy, battle, and wizard. So, the way that it works is that. That number determines how many d6s you will roll when I call for that stat to be used. As an example, if, let's say, you want to cast a spell to unlock a door, uh, you would be using wizard because you are attempting to uh, cast a spell. And if your stat for wizard is, let's say, a 3, you would roll 3d6. The way success works is I determine the difficulty based on what it is you're doing. And those 3d6s, you need one of those d6s to be higher or meet the difficulty. All right. So essentially, if you roll 3d6 and one of those d6s is, let's say, a 4, and I set the difficulty at 4, then you succeed. If, however, you roll 3d6 and let's say all of them are like 3 or lower, that's a failure. <laughs> the way failure works is if you fail on something, then two things happen. 
One, you gain a point of stress, and you also gain a point of determination. Determination is kind of like a, I would like to roll an extra d6 to boost my chances. You start with zero, and then as we play, if you fail, you gain one. And you can use it later to try to bolster a roll. It's on a one-to-one -one basis, though, so keep that in mind. The stress part... If at any point you fail on a roll, if you, uh, your highest dice roll is lower than your high, uh, than your stress level, you die. Die? Uh, in this situation, yes. So essentially, if let's say you have a stress level of five and you roll 3d6 and the highest you get is a four and you fail. I have to make that very clear. That's if you fail on that roll, you die because your stress is so high that something happens. Description-wise, it's usually uh, described as arcane feedback, uh, some sort of phenomena, injury, madness. Orgasm to death. Um, hmm? <laughs> Orgasm to death. It's sexy battle wizards. Like, you can't sure, just yeah. I mean, cardiac you could. arrest, like, you know. <coughs> It, it, it could be any of the, it could be embarrassment. You get so embarrassed uh, by your failure that you just can't live this life anymore and flee and get devoured by wolves and off in the distance. I don't know. It's, <laughs> Is it up whatever to us? fits for the situation? <laughs> Have I made everything uh, clear so far? Yes, I approve. Okay. So then, now that I think we've described more or less everything that is uh, this wild game mode. Let's begin then. In Bikron, on Kino, towards the southern end of Kino, near a small lake to the south of the Wastes of Tisaramu, there is a relatively small town known as Galveston. Galveston has only been settled within the last 50 years or so an attempt by the uh, Kino government to try to expand their influence across the continent more. Part of that expansion by the government is establishing a small task force base in Galveston. These task forces are not unknown in Kino. Uh, there's several in Shilvana. This task force, though, that's been sent to Galveston is a little bit peculiar, though, in that the government wanted you guys uh, as far away from the capital and uh, Shilvana as possible. <laughs> that task force is known as Kino Initiative Task Force 69. Whoa, whoa. Nice. I made a face, realized this is audio. <laughs> for, the, for the record let it be known Ned made a face made a face <laughs> let the record <laughs> show <laughs> let the record show face was made <laughs> the three of you are known as the sexy battle wizards or at least that's what you like to call yourselves uh, your boss maybe not so much your boss being a very grumpy uh and very peculiar and eclectic half-orc named Grunk. 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 G-R-U-N-K. Okay. Copy. On this particular day, and for timeline-wise, this is, uh, I believe, V, we discussed it was, what, five years before? Yeah, the most it could before? be five years, because it's Keen Ownership Task Plus One. Um, for about Let's go with a year, then, before. for the safety's sake. Yeah. How are, we keep, how are we number 10 if like they were up to 69 five we years called or... ourselves 69 you you oh. guys decided to name yourselves 69 so like, oh yeah you'll be a kino initiative task force four i think on, 69 on the books better. you're probably different on the books you're probably more like <laughs> kino initiative task force like 32 or something like that but you guys were like no 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 no, no, no. let's go big or go no, home no, no. 69 yeah big go big go home <laughs> Somewhere out so, there, there's a, there's a team of three fur folks and they call themselves Kino Initiative Task Force 420. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Grunk has called you into his office. Uh, this is a year 
roughly a year before uh, the main story events tra taking place. Grunt calls you into his office, uh, asking for your help with a uh, assignment that recently came in. And how can we assist? <laughs> all right, listen here. I got a very important job for you three, all right? What I need you to do, don't give me that fucking look, all right? I see you giving me that look over there. I'm talking to you, Larry. <laughs> I couldn't do that thing. Did I do something? Larry, stop giving him the look. Stop giving him the this eye, Larry. What, this is just, I, you know I have a problem with that eye. I'm not actually winking. I just, I have a twitch, a nervous twitch, guys. All right, listen, I need you to calm yourself right. I got a job for you. Listen. A little bit south of here. There's a fishing village, all right? A little tiny place. Got reports coming in lately saying that uh, apparently there's been some sort of spooky shit going on. The bad sort of spooky shit, not the good sort of spooky shit, all right? Uh, apparently, <laughs> people have been getting uh, getting killed. Go up and missing. Bodies are found later. No soul. None of that. It's just a husk. So we're sending you three down to the village. Go find out what the fuck's going on. Go take care of whatever that shit's going on with this crazy-ass stuff. Report back here, right? And payment-wise, you get 50 gold each. Ooh. Why so much this time? And, uh... You see Grunk kind of, like, look down at his notes and goes... Yeah, it's a lot of money we're giving you because uh, it's a very important job. <clears throat> mm. Can that money be negotiated? Are you trying to use your charm, shall we say, to uh, I am trying influence to, him? Uh, uh, so, so Bear Hug, the bugbear, puts his mm -hmm. leg up on the chair <laughs> next to the desk. And uh, he uses the outside leg so as to give the most view into his crotchal region. And he, <laughs> he looks grunk straight in the face and says, couldn't we get just a little more? <laughs> In that case, I would like you to do a sexy role for me, please. Yeah, you better believe it. Are there ways of helping and aiding each other out in the system? Not in sexy battle wizards. Lame. Mm. What is the uh, the number to beat or match? So the difficulty I set for this, because this is pretty standard, is uh, it's a difficulty four. Well, let me tell you about my natural six. <laughs> oh, Ooh, shit. All right. That's a success then. Why did you ask? You already won. I <laughs> yeah, know. It was so <laughs> it's satisfying. <laughs> it's all about the build up uh, for the best. So okay. Out of curiosity, what, what is your sexy stat? Oh, it's a three. Oh, both okay. Of, both right. of them he is, have he three is a sexy. sexy battle wizard in those exact order. Okay. Same. You can tell. <laughs> So you prop your leg up and give that look. That good, your, uh, sweet look that's just a little weirdly hairy. <laughs> and Grunk kind of looks at you and is like, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? We can make it, um, 69. Take a look at the again. <laughs> uh, How about that good initiative 69? Uh -huh. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 69 is a good one. Yeah. I high five him. That's good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, high five, sure. no look. Yeah, high five, bam! No look, yeah. <laughs> Let the record show they high fived and didn't look. No look. They didn't. Not, we stared Grunk in the eyes. Weirdly <laughs> yep. made him look at both of us, which isn't possible. <laughs> the eyes went, went yeah, split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to split his focus. It was weird for him. We may have broken him, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so Grunk uh, writes down on the, on the sheets, uh, noting that you're each to be paid 69 gold upon completion of uh, the work it says all right go out there figure out what the hell's going on and uh i don't know just try not to blow a bunch of shit up this time all right i i i stand by it those those children were possessed listen i'm trying to get transferred back up to the capital right oh, don't fuck this happen. one up it's not gonna happen dude you know gonna that. be honest cap we are not the team to call when that's your goal. <laughs> You're the only team I got stuck with, so I'm kind of making do with what I've got, all right? Wait, you have one initiative team? What happened to the other two? 420 and what's the other one? 
Yeah, one's <laughs> one's wandering somewhere. We lost them. <laughs> they 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 were doing that thing that 420 had- does, and they just <laughs> peaced out. It was 420, and then we also had a 360. They they did a 360, and then they walked away. <laughs> Oh, By definition, doesn't best. that mean they turned around and kept walking towards you? <laughs> no, they yeah, moonwalked yeah. away. <laughs> they, yeah, they moonwalked away. <laughs> We're going back to the Xbox 360 jokes here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I regret nothing. My next team's going to be uh, Team I'm 720. They're going to do a 720 and walk away. The, <laughs> the important team would be Team... Uh, what would that be? What would be 180, 270? They do a full turn, then just turn left? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they do the turn. A half and then, turn and then turn left. Yeah. Turn. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, uh, just, so uh, with that, <laughs> Grunk just kind of gestures to the door, goes back to doing some paperwork. Nice, nice. Now, is there any prep that you would like to do before you depart for your mission? To be honest with you, there's not that many rules, so I don't know what kind of prep we can rock here. <laughs> it's for think, flavor and RP. I think we all look fucking fine. I um, mean, I think we all have to hit the salon just a little bit. Like, I think we gotta freshen uh, up. Mm-hmm. No, they always try to make me shave my beard. Uh, no one's gonna dying. touch your beard a- when bear hugs around. Yeah. I need a quaffing. I would like a good, I would like some some trims, with like a little bit of scissor clip. Uh, I just need to make sure I that all the feel... split hairs have been let out. Mm-hmm. I feel like the split in my dress needs to be a little bit higher. <laughs> so, so. You're, so you're going to a tailor? Yes. All right. Uh, well, you guys do that. I'm going to I'm gonna talk to the earthworms. I, 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 I need to con- confer with the earthworms whether this is a good mission or not. I'm sorry, the earthworms? Yes, the earthworms, as opposed to the skyworms. I don't talk to those assholes anymore. <laughs> you all walked in wearing the same outfit it, once, it ruined it, everything. You're doing that thing again. You're doing that thing that V doesn't like you doing. <laughs> no, Talking I was just about. I was just. I was just somehow trying to work in that, like the the woodworms don't like him anymore. <laughs> the skyworms no, already it, don't. <laughs> Don't listen to them. They lie. All right. Woodworms. <laughs> Wood, earth, and skyworms. Thank you for that. <laughs> We've just added a whole lot of things into this universe. I am so yeah. unhappy with this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you tell me to make this canonical. I'm fine. I'm good. I can make this work. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Jessica, you go to uh, a tailor and mm-hmm. end up spending nearly as much as this job's going to pay you. <laughs> Maybe a little uh, bit extra. I feel that if it somehow manages to help us blow away these spooky things, I think that's worth it. You can write it off sure. as an expense later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can try. Uh, Grunk's probably not going to approve, but you can certainly try. <laughs> oh, he'll approve. Bear hug, you are uh, getting a, a trim up, a, t- a tidying. Yeah, I need a little bit of Dapper Dan's to really control the, the the hair a little bit, make sure it doesn't flare out. You're going to one of those, the shave clubs that yeah. they have uh, popping up now? Yeah. Get that good, good shaving. <laughs> it's essentially uh, just a, a single drow with, like, their hair up in a butt, like a man bun. With, like, oh, two no. of those, with, like, with... fucking sticks through it, yeah. Yep. And just the one single hand razor that, that's, that's at that angle. <laughs> I live in Brooklyn. I feel like I know this person. <laughs> you have one on like every street corner. Hey, every street corner, there's a Starbucks and there's some sort of fancy ass barber place. You're not, you're not wrong. <laughs> Brooklynites don't come for me. I understand that they're wrong. Uh, and then Larry, you are conferring with the earthworms. Yes. Is that my understanding? The earthworms, yes, not the yes. woodworms, not the skyworms. No, no I, uh, the woodworms don't talk to me anymore, and I don't talk to the skyworms uh-huh. anymore. Okay, all right. So you're talking to the earthworms. Okay. Yes. Are you intending to actually get anything out of the earthworms here? Or is this yes, a flavor thing? I want to know what the... what the. <sighs> I don't know how to sound, make this sound even dumber than I can. So like, like I want to I wanna know what the worms are saying about the spooky happenings. 
Okay. Uh, so I'm 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 using roll for wizard. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna summon worms. <laughs> hey, that's a six and a five. That definitely and a succeeds. Three. That is definitely higher than the difficulty that I set because <laughs> okay Talk to the arms, man. So, so yeah, uh, while the other two are off uh, tidying up and getting themselves looking uh, as sexy as ever, you kneel down in the dirt and start uh, weaving your magical ways to confer with the worms. Hey, and hey. for some reason, a gopher seems to pop up, but you kind of tell the no, gopher to fuck off. No, not not you guys, not thou. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't need to know where to get the best home brew, <laughs> the best cold brew. <laughs> wait, wait. Hold, uh, you know what? Never mind. We're not touching that. We're not Can touching we please that. not? Because I, <laughs> he's doing that thing again. <laughs> nope. We're, he's doing the thing again. We're not. We're not doing that. So you uh, see a few earthworms uh, spring out of the ground. Well, sp yeah, so they spring out of the ground, <laughs> and they start kind of wiggling and squirming, and not really looking at you because they don't really have eyes. They seem attentive to you. Please, please reveal your secrets to me. What is the spooky happenings? The spooky happenings? There is spooky going on down south. People go missing. And then they die. And then we eat them. Oh, that's, that's great for you guys. Bad, bad for us, but yeah. great for you guys. Uh, oh, great nutrients. Do, do, do they have souls when you guys eat them? What's that? Oh, right. Yeah, no. Worms don't have souls. Uh, um, I have seven hearts. Jesus Christ. What? Wait, that's gross. Uh, at least the, that's at true. Least, at least the, Did you just establish that worms don't have souls? I established that they don't know what a soul is because you're talking to a worm. <laughs> and Larry doesn't believe they have souls. <laughs> he at least has not yet seen uh, a soul sorcerer's earthworm. Now, if you talk to the spiders, that's a different story. They don't <laughs> Fuck have spiders. They don't Every have single souls. one of them have a soul. Somebody else's. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree with that. <laughs> uh, so, that's so, where they're all going. <laughs> so where do you find the bodies, my precious sweet worm friends? The shore of the lake. It's very moist there, very wet. Very good for dirt. Good, good. Yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> and Larry, very, it's very good. Larry very digs delicious. up the, the mud to make it easy for them to travel and eat through it. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, that, mm. you're, The fee has been paid. Our pact has been done. I'll see you when I need you next. Bye. And they <laughs> start squirming into and burrowing into the dirt very slowly. They're earthworms. They're not very good at this. As is tradition, Larry waits for the earthworms to leave because anything else would be uh, uh, rude. rude. <laughs> Larry's sure. very polite. I'm very impressed with the politeness of Larry. <laughs> mm -hmm. You do see a sparrow swoop by and pick up one of the earthworms and just go off, you know, feed their baby. Oh. You can hear off in the distance the earthworm going, ah! <laughs> uh, yeah. Somewhere in the background, you hear Circle of Life playing. <laughs> Circle. <laughs> okay, so with that being done, the three of you reconvene and begin making your way southward. Making my way downtown. Now, V, your map is all sorts of ass backwards for travel distances. <laughs> no, it's very easy. You put your fingers between Darkhammer Stronghold and Belig Bud, and that's exactly 30 days walking. <laughs> Okay, fucking hold on a second. I made oh, another maps... face. <laughs> <laughs> my map scale is time rather than uh, distance. Yeah, Which... we can send you a world map, Ned, so that you see the kind of bullshit we're working with. <laughs> Shut your face. I feel like I'm going to be on V's side. I just want to warn everyone right now. <laughs> no, it's it a great map. Time? Great, yes. <laughs> uh, You know what? Fuck it. For simplicity's sake, we're going to say it's like a It should be spaced away. by dramatic reasons. The distance yes. is based on drama. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's it's based on how hard can V fuck us with the timeline that she has going. I think that's what I said, but with more <laughs> vulgarity. <laughs> so it's roughly a day's travel for you to get from Galveston to this small lake, uh, small fishing village. Is there anything that you three would like to do during your travel times? I think 
it's important to note that uh, Bear Hug the Bugbear views himself as an influencer of sorts. And um, he's working very hard to find sponsorships. So as he passes people, he is he is constantly posing. He's uh, positioning. He's uh, inquiring. Bear Hug the Bugbear hopes to, to make it somewhere someday. And he fully intends to do so on the strength of his buttocks. And so <laughs> he uh, will be just generally looking for sponsors on every uh, turn. I feel, okay. I feel like Fairhawk has already shown off too much. Like the only way he can go and only way he can go is down. Like Well like, the problem yes, oh, is like, that Fairhawk's not very good at this. It's important. <laughs> oh like okay, okay. He he's he's not a successful influencer. He's still in this group, right? <laughs> hey. He's still all in this group. He's together, still honey. here. I'm. I, I'll. I'll admit that the 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 the, the, the skyworms shit talking us has not been good for our, our our image, but it's 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 gonna be fine, guys. We're gonna make it. Uh-huh. <laughs> we are gonna make it as sexy battle wizards, and everyone will know our name. Everyone. Ooh, I fucked up. What did you do? I misunderstood success. Oh no. Oh no. If it, if you get equal, you succeed, but you gain a stress and something bad happens. Oh, okay. Oh, one of those mixed mixed success. Things. So it, right, it's a success, but at a cost. Okay. Has anyone? Well, if it's higher, no, no we both got sixes. <laughs> we both rolled sixes, dude. We both rolled sixes. I just wanted to clarify chances. now because I just picked that up while I was looking because I was looking <laughs> at difficulty again to make sure because I didn't. I wanted to. Give Ned a roll here for this, but I'm trying to determine the difficulty based on what is currently happening. <laughs> sure. So, you know, it I think it really depends on who we're who we're dealing with. Bugbear doesn't discriminate. He will he will approach everyone and anyone. I'm sorry, Bear Hug the Bugbear. Uh so yeah, who 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 am I uh trying to impress? Uh I imagine it would be all sorts of people. There is probably a road itself that goes straight from Galveston to the village. There's okay. probably not many people traveling it, uh, especially being that there's probably rumors spreading about at this time of uh, people going missing and dying. But there's probably still some people traveling back and forth. I mean, people got to eat. People need to catch fish. They do. That's true. I've heard that about people. Food is good. Yeah. Food is important. Can I summon so, Salmon? Can what? what? Can I summon salmon? Salmon. Sal- you could try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if people are missing food, I just, like, do, like, a kamehameha, but, like, a salmon just comes out. Just one salmon. A stream salmon. of fish. Not just one salmon. A stream of them. <laughs> you make a single no, there's only one, salmon only appear? There. <laughs> okay, you know what? We'll go based off of how this works out. So, all right, Ned, <laughs> give me a sexy roll I for love. your uh, petitioning for a sponsorship. I wish this was on camera because I want everyone to see my six, six, and five. <laughs> if you had gotten another six, I would have had you consumed by the devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You mean taken by the devil's bear hug? Ooh. Bear hug? <laughs> yes. A bear hug for bear hug. A bear hug for that's what he really wants. That's his. That's his. <laughs> MO. Ultimate goal. All he wants in life is a bear hug. We just need to find you a bear. He I've just been thinking how to fuck up your name, and the best one I came up with, Hugbug the Bear Bear. <laughs> Hugbug the Bear Bear. I kind of like Bear Bear the Hugbug. <laughs> <laughs> I could be a Hugbug. That was not of my attention. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm summoning one floppy salmon. You're attempting to summon, summon salmon. Yeah, salmon. So uh, give me a wizard roll. Summon salmon is a terrible thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I chose it. Oh, no. Yay, I got one six. <laughs> There's the that was a We're one and a two and a six. Far too well on things that don't matter. I, I, we need I to am very roll 69 times it. between us. I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 we don't have much left of this episode. Just keep doing it, Adam. <laughs> and I got uh-huh. one and a two. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh Ned, you do various um revealing and uh scandalous positions and 
you catch me like on cliff edges overlooking them like i position myself so when someone rounds the corner they just see a gorgeous vestige of me like one of those pretentious like uh, instagram accounts where it's like oh this is yes. how i accidentally be and clearly posed <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, during your uh, many petitions and attempts at gaining sponsors sponsorship, you do meet someone uh, who is very interested in your look, and uh, it's a, a very uh, rotund-looking goblin who says, Oh, yeah, all right. You know what? You get in contact with me later. I'll be in Galveston. I got something for you. I'm, I'm planning to open up my, uh, my own business. We're going to call it My Undies. You'd be perfect for it. Mm, Hit me I up could get into okay? your undies. Hey. Oh, we'll talk about that later, too. And the goblin uh, walks off. Bear Hug is thoroughly satisfied that he you now has potentially a have a sponsorship. Does he do it? From my undies. Very clear, important clarification here. My undies. Larry, <laughs> you, with a quick wave of your hand and an incantation of uh, your magics, Summon a single uh, salmon, mm -hmm. which just appears in your hand and uh, starts violently thrashing around. You don't know where it came from, uh, down, but now it is currently it. suffocating. Calm down, calm down. No, no, get your food now. Stop it, stop fighting me. I would like to try and sell this fish that he's just summoned. <laughs> it's not very hard. There are plenty of uh, fishermen that are attempting to take their catches to galveston to sell for money and uh any one of them will gladly buy it off your hands for a uh what they call reasonable price what uh what are we calling a reasonable price yeah a gold piece so you're telling me if i can summon 69 salmon we get the same amount that we do for the damn job you don't know how to summon salmon. This is super complicated. Stay down. I'm Just... going to say it right now. We are going to say summon salmon for the rest of this record. Uh -huh. <laughs> Absolutely. V, that needs to be a new spell that we have in, in uh, Kino. Okay, fine. Summon salmon. Oh, can that be Squash's divine ability, summon salmon? No. <laughs> no. Stop, stop this. You're doing the worst. <laughs> it's perfect. I'm into it. <laughs> so... <laughs> a gold for salmon is ex extreme amount of gold it's a rare salmon man it's, it's a magical. salmon that appeared out of nowhere it's a very large salmon it's do we not think one of the like... salmon was conjured or do we think the salmon was taken from another place oh, no, no, it was yeah. taken from we another need, day, it place. Was, you summoned it no no I, I i i teleported it it was hanging out with his family its name is steve <laughs> it's gonna die now <laughs> As you snap its neck. It's As you snap there. its neck, I've already sold it to the nearest. But then I uh, use the secrets of occult shadowmancy to make it come back to life awkwardly. <laughs> Fuck! But only the bottom half, because its top half has been snapped. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to go in a different direction with that. I thought you were going to turn it into the singing fish. Oh, no, but Billy Bass <laughs> would be a great addition to we our We can do team. that if we summon Bass. <laughs> Billy Bass and then uh, Sally Salmon. Billy Bass, Sally Salmon have been summoned. So it's summon Sally the salmon, and it's bring <laughs> to Billy sing the bass. <laughs> a salsa serenade. <laughs> Nailed it. About no, being covered in it. salsa. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, it was a serenade. The salsa, salsa was not an adjective. It was the uh, topic. I don't know how salsa would salsa mix marinade. with salmon, but I want to try it now. It's perfect. I feel like that's the basis of a fish taco. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a fish taco. It's good. All right. <laughs> so after a day's travel and much uh, shenanigans, you arrive uh, at night at uh, this uh, small fishing village. You can see that it's a little bit of ways away from you guys right now, but take you a couple minutes to walk into town. You can see that there are a few lights emanating from some of these little wooden homes. Uh, all of the homes themselves are a fair distance from the actual shore of the lake. Uh, you can see that there are, even in the dark, there are a few uh, docks with some lanterns hanging off that reach out into the lake, uh, along with several small uh, boats for people to go out so that they can catch their fish. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any boats that you can see that are out right now. Um, if there were, they would have their proper boat lights on so that no other boats accidentally hit them. So either they're fishing illegally or they're uh, just not out there. Um, 
There doesn't seem to be anybody out and about right now that you can tell. And overall, it seems like the town is pretty calm and quiet right now. Is there perchance an inn? Uh, you can certainly attempt to search for one. Bearhug doesn't like the dark because no one can see him. Oh, That's I fair. can cure that honey, don't worry. And I just click my fingers, and I just want there to be like... Almost like the moon's light rays are just like forming upon our person, so only the best of our features get lit up. So like, bug. It's uh, like a god ray. Oh, but yeah, 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 yeah. But with moon, so so like, uh, bug hugs, uh, bear hugs, bear hugs, uh, bear bug. It bug worked. Hug. Bug, bug hug. hug caught on. <laughs> so bug hug. Uh, his his mustache is just fucking beautiful in this moonlight and it's the thing that people can see other than his beautiful eyes naturally um beautiful naturally just the beautiful. entirety of my form the fact that my split goes almost like halfway up my waist now uh that is beautifully illuminated and uh like larry's put, hat like, is the only thing that people can see inside the dress <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> Your dress is just a hot rod. <laughs> yes. I just have like a little glow somewhere like between my knees and I have a little go glow like um, roughly chest height. Yeah. Phrasing. Between my knees. No, I'm not. Phrasing. I'm not. Yes. Yes. This phrasing is intentional. The phrasing has been held. I was going to say between my thighs and I thought, no, I'll move it down a little bit. <laughs> Intention still the same. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. And okay. I, just, I just put a little bit of light on uh, Larry's hat just on the star at the very end. Hmm. <laughs> It's I'm the not only gonna part make of him you roll I for that him. <laughs> because that's like very simple magics. All right, so uh, now illuminated, so that any who may see you may uh, gaze upon all your splendors. Mm -hmm. You make your way into town. From where you are, uh, being on the north end of the small village, you can see that there are. A few public buildings. Uh, for the most part, though, it seems to be a lot of houses. Uh, it looks like a fair amount of them are shared uh, family houses. And immediately walking in, you get this very pungent odor of just dead and rotting fish. It's a fishing village, so naturally there's going to be that um, reek. And it's just everywhere in the air. Nobody seems to mind it. At least not that you could tell anyways. There is definitely an inn uh, towards the center of town, it looks like. Uh, there doesn't appear to be very much activity going on right now. You can see that there are lights on inside. Uh, it's raised up slightly. There is uh, what looks to be some stilts that are holding this building up. Single story, uh, entirely made of wood. And uh, there's what looks like a ramp actually going up to the front door as opposed to stairs, because inclusivity. <laughs> so we need to figure out how we're going to enter this in. We can't just walk say, in. The no, entrance no, no. is important. Mm -hmm. I think we should hold in the doorway a little too long. Uh, I think <clears throat> it should blow open for us. There should oh, be a small yes. amount of light coming in behind us as and we bees. step in so and the lights bees. in front of us. And then, like, bees come, like, follow us. Like, they, 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 like, they, like, back us up, you know? How They're, like, about... flowing around us. I like the backup, but perhaps backup singers. So maybe something that tweets. Wasps. Um, how about hummingbirds? They make sounds, right? Aarakocras, they sing. If we want to, if we're going to go with the, if we're going to go with the insect side, at least go with like a cicada. Give me that good, good cicada or the cricket. All right, all right. Crickets, crickets will be good. Okay. But they need to be in a chorus. They need to be melodious and not just, oh, oh no. shit, we walked into somewhere which we shouldn't have been. Oh no, crickets are, are, are notoriously tone deaf. We're, we're not going to get them to like sync up. Cockroaches are surprisingly on point though. Um. They're not on point for me. <laughs> In fact, they're super gross. Yeah, they're not um, visually... Uh, they don't line up with us. Okay, 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 okay. So how about I summon cockroaches to do the song, but we summon cicadas to do the, the, the show? Oh, we have... The cockroaches underneath, like <laughs> an orchestra. We can have them like burrow through the floor planks. No, no, no. And... They don't need to be in the building. Oh, just okay. Just near enough. So you have them underneath like you put an orchestra. Okay. And then you have the dancers, which could be the cicada things. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I can do that. 
<laughs> Surely I can do that. And then as we enter the door, we need to strike a pose and we need to make sure everyone's looking before we break. All right, so we're doing the standard pose. You two in front and I'm staying out of the way. That's exactly no. what I was thinking. Get, those, get that pretty bone structure in there. <laughs> okay. Sure? Are you sure people are going to like that? I think Go ahead and they're going to love the wizard. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I be in charge of the lights? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm bringing the sex. All right, We're so that's uh, four. All right. That was your highest? Yep. That's a failure. All right, so I summon Salmon again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> mark down that you have one stress and one determination. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Determination and strengths. Um, Jessica, you are... I'm making Attempting sure that, to do a light show? Yeah, the lights are just perfectly behind us, so we look like silhouettes. We walk in, strike a pose, and then the lights will change to be in front of us in a nice warm glow to show our amazing features. And then okay, we break gonna, from our pose. I'm going to ask you to make a wizard roll as well. All right. And uh, bear hug, you're trying to flex your yes, chassis with us? six. Yeah, no, bear hug is allowing them to... He knows his, his, his role here, and his role <laughs> is... Do not roll for wizard unless absolutely necessary. <laughs> Since you are attempting it? to flex your sexy for this, then. So I'm walking uh, in at a strut. I think there's a little bit of hip, and I think it lands in a pose that um, some might call contortionist, but others would call sexy. Okay. <laughs> Give me a sexy roll, then. A four? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's also a failure. So, Mark, one stress and one determination. So the only thing we managed to pull off was the lights. <laughs> Honestly, Apparently. after a career in theater, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> the the light uh, show always on 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 uh, always on killing it. Yeah, on point. There it is. That's so on point right now. Okay. So the three of you. Uh, Prepare yourselves, work your magic, metaphorically and physically. You try to conjure up cockroaches and cicadas to do this crazy orchestral performance and dancing and everything. You finish the incantation, but your mind was so caught on Sally, Sally the Salmon, that instead of conjuring up these insects, just a swarm of salmons just seem to appear out of nowhere and start filling this tavern up. Ooh, the ooh. floor is now covered with salmon everywhere. Mm. Uh. Jessica, you very easily are able to just do a quick incantation and the light show is perfect. Perfectly uh, reflecting the light off of the fishy scales that are now everywhere. Uh, bear hug, you walk in or I should say, stride into the tavern ready to Struts. make your debut and strut your stuff. But your foot catches a fish and you end up falling on your ass in not so sexy of a way. It's pretty embarrassing, to be honest. Uh, the only person that was in the tavern at the time was the barkeep, who... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. ...was it's essentially just kind of too. sitting behind the counter with their feet propped up, just kind of reading out of a book. Uh, upon your entry, though, and subsequent fish conjuration and strange light show illuminating the room, uh, the barkeep actually seems to duck behind the bar and just hide. And you can hear what sounds like, What the bloody hell? Darling, your wishes have come true. The sexy battle wizards are here to solve all of your problems. There's fish everywhere. Can you make it go away, please? You see, like, a head, the head poke back up. It appears to be a, uh, a completely bald-shaven uh, bald shaved Goliath. Bear oh, hug uh, realizes he hasn't eaten yet and starts eating fish. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I can take care of that. Do you have a mop? A mop? The fuck you gonna do? There's fish everywhere. 
Uh, oh, oh uh, mop is not the right tool. Uh, uh, what do you? What do commoners use? Uh, uh, you oh. fucking conjured this shit up. Just make it go away. Okay. Okay. Uh. Um. Uh. 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 uh, uh Banis salmon. Pew. <laughs> roll me another wizard roll, please. That's a five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you succeed. <laughs> However, no. I do need you to mark one stress. No! Because you just met, you just met <laughs> and something bad happens. I have important questions. Does stress, mm. are we just stuck with this stress? Yes. I think so. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Okay, so <laughs> I not om- only banished the salmon that was on the floor, I banished any salmon in the tri state area. We don't have states here in Kino. No, no, no. no, no. I wasn't going to go that far. I'm not letting you cast a spell and cause an entire species of fish to go extinct. Just in the area. Other species will fill the void. No, 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 no. Evolution. <laughs> so you <laughs> attempt to work your magic again to make the salmon disappear, and they do. They all seem to vanish. However, your uh, banishing spell seems to have overextended a little bit, and you can actually see through the floor now uh, to the ground below. There is now a, a sizable hole in the center of the room. You banished the floor? Most oh. notably, the hole is in the shape of a salmon. J- just Good. this just this part. It's gonna be fine. I do not have wood magic. The woodworms hate you. you. They won't help you out anymore. You got this rid is of the part of my floor. floor. That part of your floor was filled with, infested with woodworms and their dicks. You're welcome. You- I'm choosing to believe that uh, you use T H E I R, so it's infested with woodworms and their penises, not uh, <laughs> not that they are dicks. <laughs> it was infested with woodworms and their dicks. I d- <laughs> this is why I English is a really fucked up know. language. <laughs> English is a weird language. We have come to solve your spooky problems. <clears throat> The earthworm called upon us, and we're here. Where are your dead? I'm gonna like put my arms um, on the bar and lean over so clearly everything in my asset area is is beautifully shown, um, and try to catch his eye. It's like, yes, the Kino Initiative Task Force. They sent us especially to you, and then I run my finger like <laughs> along his nose. <laughs> oh fuck no! Okay, hold on. Um, and, like he's like pushing your hand away, like. I've heard of you guys. Um, we we didn't call for... Um, you didn't call, but we came anyway. We answered your prayers to deal with all these spooky things. Going we on. always come first. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, right. Uh, yeah, the problem. Uh, the town's problem. The problem with the town, with the, the ghosts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ghosts. Well, that's what people call it. Yeah, it's a uh, it's ghost. We think. Yeah, uh, it's a really weird ghost. It uh calls itself a specter, but it's not really a specter because there'd be like, you know, fire and more death. I can't I don't know if there could be more death with there being a ghost. I I don't know. Uh, yeah. Why don't you Why don't you guys? You know what? Yeah, you guys are just what we need. Um, yes, yes, we are at at the lake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where, where the water on is. the other side of the lake, the far side. We'll let the earthworms Didn't be the judge we of that. Just come from the other side of the lake, God. No, no we're no, no. currently okay. on the north side of the lake. You're telling us to go to the south side of the lake. We need to go yeah. further down. Oh, uh, across the lake, I, further south. Right. Yeah, across across the, the south. All right, we've reached lake. a very yeah. important cross uh, uh, threshold here because um, Bear Hug doesn't like water <laughs> or boats. He doesn't is like Bear Hug wet. speaking in third person, or is this Ned? <laughs> no, this is Ned. Just warning you that okay. Bear Hug is terrified of uh, bodies of water. <laughs> of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? 
<laughs> of course. No, no, no. Makes sense. Makes total sense. Mess don't up worry. the fur. Don't worry. You, you, you just cast darkness spells above your eyes, and then you don't see anything, <clears> and then, then we'll lead you along. I work very hard to not cast spells. <laughs> <laughs> that's more your forte than ours. And that's why the skyworms don't respond to my calls anymore. Yeah. I was a little bit rude. Uh, a little right, bit. So if you guys could like go so kind of have a hole in my floor to fix now. Uh, don't fix it. It's a feature. memory of us to live by. Yeah. One when bit. when the future comes around and you everyone will be like, oh, they went to this random bar, but there's no evidence. Oh, it won't be known as the random bar. It will be known as the epic salmon bar. It will be known as the place where the sexy battle wizards began their third, possibly fourth, maybe four hundredth battle. Like you know, I'm you glad know that we have Actually, a well-defined a... backstory for the sexy battle wizards. <laughs> Well, we want to you keep ourselves though, uh, mysterious. The less they actually know, you know, it's it's the whole you don't reveal everything. You have to keep something. We could call this place the Salmon Dive Bar. I like it. Yeah, yeah. The salmon, that's good. That's good. Dive that's, Bar, yeah. That's good. I like so you it. Get, you, get, you get what I did there? It's a play uh, on words. Because fish dive, I'm into it. I'm not in. I'm, What's that the pun? If you could if you could leave. Yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving. Okay. No, leaving. no magic, please. Just. Well, you expect yeah. me to walk like a commoner? Yes, you are a commoner, babe. Oh, right, yeah. They kicked me out. As, <laughs> as, we, as we reach the door, Bear Hug just turns around and with one arm on the frame gives a not subtle wink to the Goliath and then struts out. <laughs> Why am I just waiting for you to flash your cock on somebody? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's too much. That's, uh, oh, you can't oh, give away oh, the farm. that's where Hug Bear the Bear Bear. <laughs> yeah. the you never yeah. give you, all the like goods. You can't have all the bear goods. Hug. <laughs> the bug bear because he that didn't. he actually is miffed oh oh you never suggest that he's oh, a I'm lady sorry. <laughs> what <laughs> get some self-respect larry larry just go and apologize you never give all of the just, goods in you know one just go. go and apologize just do whatever they ask bear hug i'm sorry you took what i said badly that's a non-apology, and it makes you a douche. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that's how that's how she told me to apologize to the skyworms. Well, <laughs> you that can might see explain a, a lot background. about your relationship with the skyworms. <laughs> okay, okay, let me try again then. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm ready. <laughs> Wait, no, he's not ready. He has to like pout more, <laughs> so he turns <laughs> turns his back a little, and then he looks back over his shoulder at you with just a oh. A little bit of lip. A little, little bit, of lip. bit of, just a little bit of lip. The mustache, he does that thing from, you know, the sword in the stone when the uncle can make the uh, the mustache w wipe his top lip? He's doing <laughs> that. <laughs> now that's a deep dive reference. I, I, I would like to put like a tiny yeah, amount yeah, of like, I go only emotional for deep cuts. <laughs> it's okay. We're all old enough here to remember that. Bear hug. I'm sorry that I suggested that you should reveal the rest of the goods. You are right. Less is more. He says, bear hug I comes eat over the and fuck. <laughs> you think he's gonna give, you think he's gonna give you a bear hug, but all he does is take the back of his hand and stroke your face. <laughs> the patchy I accept your apology. <laughs> the patchy work of uh, of Larry's like uh, beard is offensive to the touch. <laughs> I'm sure the quaffed fur on the back of my hand isn't great either. <laughs> I'm sure it's super nice. Uh, I'm going to walk between them in this beautiful Kodak moment and just like swish my tail between the two of them and walk towards the dock. All right, all right. I'm doing that thing where her hips are swinging like massively because she's like, wants the, the Jessica tail to Rabbit go with walk. it. Hence why she's called Jessica. <laughs> Oh, cool. I'm I'm here. I'm glad that I caught on an hour into recording. You know, wearing like the red dress with the stuff yeah, up yeah, the yeah. side no, and purple gloves. As soon gloves as you in. looked at me, I thought, Ned, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, all right. We're going we're gonna to go to the river. <clears throat> no, we're going to a lake. We're going to go to a lake. Bear hug. Bear, bear hug goes, I'm sorry. We're going where? 
Oh, uh, I mean the uh, uh, <laughs> standing body of water. Is that better? The what? Oh, uh, <laughs> don't worry. I'll summon so much fish that you won't even see the water anymore. Their response works, right? is to uh, acquiesce, but silently cry. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's beautiful. Of course it is. I want to collect You're not an ugly cry. You're beautiful. a pretty cry. <laughs> I, I want to collect those tears, but they get absorbed into your face hair instantly. <laughs> I find us a boat. <laughs> Are you attempting to just commandeer a boat? Uh, if, if there's a person to speak to here, I will speak to them. It's currently nighttime, so no. There then is I will nobody here steal a boat. Oh. Uh, okay. I support this plan. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, well, if they ask, then the Kino Initiative requires this boat at this moment. It's not I... stealing. It's temporarily borrowing. I have a gold. We could probably just rent a boat. Yeah, but there's no one here. Uh, Larry just kind of takes the coin and awkwardly puts it on the ground. <laughs> on the dock. <laughs> on the dock where we're going to steal a boat. <laughs> like, okay. Larry's very nice. If he, uh, if Larry gets into the boat first, I will replace the gold with like a silver piece. <laughs> <laughs> then you get on board and fucking bear I replace the silver with a copper. <laughs> 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 and as we cast off Larry's like oh hey a coffee piece <laughs> <laughs> and then some asshole uses Electrum and everyone's like get out <laughs> <laughs> you yes. dive into the lake and the entire bottom of the lake is coated in Electrum because <laughs> oh nobody uses God, that no currency. one ever wanted it someone introduced it in D&D &D and no one had the good sense to take it back out <laughs> I I one hundred percent that whoever introduced it is still working for them because it's like the the coin of choice in all their modules. And then everybody else in the D and D community going no gold or no, platinum. Gold. There's no yep. in between. It's like the Azori or the 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 Orzov coin in Ravnica, which doesn't actually. It's like Disney bucks, but it's an <laughs> actual currency that's now in the goddamn game, and it's just like. <laughs> a thing that a tenth of the realm can hand you and you have to accept it because you might offend them. <laughs> How dare you not uh, uh, accept their currencies? Um, if you hand me an okay, arcade so token, like, I'll We play you. with the coins and we make our yep, way. You play with the coins, you <laughs> steal a boat. And, uh, uh, I'm just going to lean at the back of the boat and I'm just going to be like with one with arms, just like one like one hand, like trailing in the water. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, bear I'm hug is in a rowing. ball at the bottom of the boat. <laughs> I, okay. I think bear hug is like cut, like hugging Larry back, like uh, digging his face into his chest as Larry's trying to <laughs> just cowering. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to steer the boat like, uh, yes, I got, could you help? He's giving okay. this really weird sound that some it sounds somewhere between like a cry and a guttural like pain, <laughs> just like a. It's it's it's, it's okay. It's okay, Barak. It's gonna be fine. Just just oh, uh, just think of the your um land. <laughs> your your timeline here makes it where crossing this lake on a boat is gonna take a while. Yeah, three and a half days if you want to go on a boat. <laughs> I'm, All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold back. <laughs> what? It's a it's a week to walk it, and we're on a boat. <laughs> okay. So you guys are I'm currently on a, on a goddamn rowboat for three and a half days. <laughs> no, no, because <laughs> guess who's about to make us go fast? The waterworms using what battle? <laughs> Eels. Do not summon I salmon. I am going to back and bass. You're the worst. Why did I agree to come on this podcast? <laughs> so, because it's good radio. Larry uh, is going to back and bass, and he's going to back them to push the boat to the other side. Super, he's going to harangue fast. Haddock. Like, I get it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I had that, had that one done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... It's gonna gang tackle Gafilta. How far can we go? <laughs> well, I have six more, so let's hope I can get to cast more six more spells. Don't look. It's not for you. This is for the audience. 
What are you doing? <laughs> I may have a list of spells I'm gonna cast. <laughs> oh god. I'm, I'm gonna start awesome. guessing. Okay. <laughs> the DM is getting up from his chair. <laughs> It's alright, I can no, keep just running it in this world. <laughs> getting comf getting comfy here. Okay, so Yes. Roll me wizard. Alright. Come on. I swear sick. to God, if you flip this boat. Hey, it's a five. It's good. That is a success at a cost. Oh you bitch! I can't cast six more spells if you make me fail every time. <laughs> You should roll better. Mm -hmm. I think so, not every challenge should be a fucking five. <laughs> that's not. Technically, Just... the challenge level is a five, which is why you succeed and fail. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. So I succeed at something. You summoning... mark a stress. Yes, yes. Stress and something calm. bad's going to happen. Um, We go so fast we're ahead of schedule? <laughs> no. I don't... We I come too early. I see your logic. How could this all be... <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I think my biggest flaw is that I am I am too punctual. <laughs> here we go. I got it. All right. <laughs> so, Larry, <laughs> Larry, you haven't been having a great night. Not not having a great night so far. You try your hand once more at casting a spell, and surprisingly, this time it seems to work. You are able to send out a call and the ba the bass of this lake come to your aid and gather up behind the boat and with a great heave begin pushing it across the lake at great speed it gets you going for a good ways you think you're probably about maybe a third of the way across the lake by the time morning comes around however as uh you are maintaining your concentration upon the spell to keep these bass sh pushing at great speed. Your two companions, I assume, probably getting their beauty rest. <laughs> I, uh, I am not sleeping. I am terrified. No, oh. I'm looking fucking glorious as I'm leaning back in this boat and the wind is whipping through my hair. Um, I, I look fucking amazing right now. Oh, I, I thought you were currently... going to try to pull like a rose thing, be like... Oh, at the front of the boat? Like yeah. T-pose at the front of the boat. <laughs> No, bugbear is in a ball at the bottom. Fair. That's enough. unfortunate. <laughs> oh no! What are you gonna do? No, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't. I mean, it's unfortunate in general. Not what's oh, gonna yeah, happen. Oh yeah, no, bear. This Something is, is gonna happen to all of you. This is bear hug's worst nightmare, and I made that decision before you told me about a fucking lake. <laughs> <laughs> For the viewers or listeners, I should say, they could be viewers. I'm, I'm, you don't know. They could be here with us right now. Shit, they could. I'm well, making an evil DM smile. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> on a scale a of one point, to ten. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, it's fuck you. <laughs> That's exactly the correct amount of fuck you in that smile. <laughs> <laughs> At a certain point, you notice that the boat begins to slow down in speed. <gasps> oh no, my fast friends are getting tired. You look over the side of the boat, and you see that the bass are still pushing, but there are far less bass than there were uh, even just moments ago. Oh no, they're bad to And you see, you see a shadow <laughs> pass under the boat. all over again. Oh no. The boat seems to slow down. Shadow passes under the boat again. Did you boat summon a more. shark? No, I would never summon a shark. Writes down something on a notepad. <laughs> Uh, At this point, there are very the few bass left. <laughs> did uh, you use the bass's bait for a shark? No, no, the bass, bass, the bass. Was supposed Sorry, the bass. No, I like <laughs> the bass. We put a double, a, a double bass under the boat. Successfully caught a shark, a jazz shark. Hey -o. Um, A bass trap. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I hate this. I hate all of this. Uh, so we have. Uh, you shut up. Uh, You're not careful. I'm gonna start bringing some like fucking disco lights into this. So we might have uh, a shark uh, problem. Uh, a shark scenario. Yes, shark scenario. Bear hug sits up and goes, "A shark." Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, no, and the boat shark. is slowing down more and more as you're talking, and it's eating all our fish. Shark. But, um, I don't. We appear to be stuck in the middle of a lake. 
with a shark underneath us. How the fuck is a shark here in a in a in a in a pool of resting water inland? Huh. Now to think about it, is bass a, a, a freshwater fish? <laughs> Bear yes. hug pulls out of. <laughs> uh, uh, no one's really sure because he's not wearing anything. But at one point, there wasn't a rift hammer, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> there's a rift hammer. Oh my god! And Bear oh. hug looks a little wild because it looks like he has no idea what's happening. He's a little terrified, and he says, oh. "I will rift this shark in the face." And everyone says rift is not a uh, attack word. And Bear Hug says, I don't have time. <laughs> uh, Bear Hug, darling, you remember how we had this conversation about not talking to yourself? <laughs> Bear Hug, no like shark. Don't, stop, stop. I'm just going to put my choices have hug. been made and we're going with it. <laughs> we um, are respecting okay. the fiction. <laughs> 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 so bear hug tries to talk himself off the cliff with uh his uh new inv- uh, invisible friend cliff it's his it's his alter ego and uh oh. you hear you hear bear hug go bear hug man it's just a it's just a fish you're gonna be fine no sharks are not okay no oh, jesus uh <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not gonna tell him, I'm not gonna tell him. <laughs> oh boy now we just need to try and like seduce a shark i just want to seduce a shark <laughs> bifurcated penises. <clears throat> well, I don't have one of those, let alone one to bifurcate. Oh, oh, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> the shadow that had passed under the boat passes under one more time, and you can see it this time much closer to the surface. It is very large. Oh and my, that's a big goes one. goes out and then turns back around, and you notice a fin poke out of the water as it slowly rises up. And it's not a shark like you thought. It's a salmon? It appears to be a largemouth bass. Not a bass, a bass. Half fish, half bass. (laughs) I want to be clear. This is canon? (laughs) This is what happens when you mix magic. Okay. So it comes out and of the... it is coming down on your boat right now. Mouth open wide. You can hear strange. Uh, like, bear hug swings the rift hammer. Bear hug swings the rift hammer. <laughs> rift hammer. All right. Roll battle to see if you can bash this thing with your hammer to get it to fuck off. I'm trying to hit it hard enough that it whiffs the boat. Hmm. All right. Give me a battle. I got a six. Yes. That succeeds. Yes. Yep. So bear hug the yells, team. bear hug, go like base. Wow. He's all about the treble. <laughs> all about the oh, treble. fuck. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I have to write it down now. Oh, my God. That's so fantastic. <laughs> you see bear hug stand up, wind up like a batter, and slam this hammer into the side of this largemouth base, and you watch this fish fly and skip actually skip like a skipping stone across the water before falling back into the lake and then sinking below oh, cool. i've been meaning to tell you uh the rift part of the hammer is just descriptive it doesn't actually it's just a it's just a hammer it's just a hammer wait so it's not you got a nice paint job on it so it looks rifty yeah it has like flames and like purple shit on it yeah wait so so your your hammer isn't magical anyway you just call it the rift hammer Yes, that's correct. Do you know how Weirdly much- enough, I call my penis the hammer. <laughs> Please don't say it's shaped like that. <laughs> I indicate the rift hammer. Oh, you know nothing about bear bug anatomy, <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, I've never wanted to ask. We have a professional relationship, not a fucking one. <laughs> Listeners, Listen, I just imp- realized that I accidentally quoted badly Dr. Horrible sing along blog. Yes, you did. Please know that I know the, the show and I didn't do that on purpose. It's before. okay. The copyright gods may may not notice. <laughs> Nobody has But Casey probably will. <laughs> when Casey listens to this in like a year. Uh, so how far away from uh, sure? Uh, man, that was really fishy. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> On, on the uh, scale of one to ten, how bad was that pun? That was good. No, that was a solid pun. <laughs> no, I approve of that pun. 
<laughs> it was the carnival punt. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Thank uh, you. Oh, poor Larry. It looks like a catfish got his tongue. <laughs> Ned is making a face. Listeners, Ned is making a face, so you're all aware. Yep. <laughs> I don't. I don't deal in puns very well. I'm uh, bad at them. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to enjoy. Uh, <laughs> so how far away from shore are we? Or do more fast fish come along to help us? Face fish. Uh, well, you're gonna have to try to summon more because uh, you <laughs> no. got them all eaten. No, that we're we're out of. Uh, base fish. So this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. No, no, no. They were mostly bass. You just accidentally conjured one base. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. Anything more than one base, and it really doesn't vibe well. All right. Uh, so I, you're I'm, gonna I'm... muster up some mackerel. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna. God damn it! That's almost exactly the one I wrote. <laughs> I have mobilized <laughs> mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like I'm to so imagine, though, that in this world, mackerel are generally immobile. <laughs> so you're actually mobilizing them. That's the magic part. <laughs> I'm going to okay. start doing it, too. Get excited. <laughs> I'm going to add a whole bunch of things to your world and then fuck off back to encounter party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back to encounter party and be like, if you do guys, this, I don't know what they were doing over there. <laughs> There was a lot of fish. <laughs> there were a lot of fish puns. If you do this and you bring me to your world, I will make it just as bad. <laughs> Luckily, this I thing. don't DM. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Even better, they will never know. <laughs> they will never know what they're bringing. Ryan, I right. apologize in advance for whenever that happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. All right. Okay. Mobilize macro. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another wizard. Magic. Oh no, I got a four. You can. You I like to, you also to imagine that Larry oh, says have... magic as he casts. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? I I, I rolled a four. Uh, can, can I determine or something? You can um, use a determination to add one more d six. Okay. Are we allowed to? Uh, uh, That's a three. Uh, <laughs> grant determination. Like, no. can I inspire with determination? Um, we're not allowed to help each other. <laughs> yeah, you have to be sexy on your own or no, fail I, on your own. <clears throat> I only got Bug a four. Bear pouts. Oh, see, already sexy. You are killing it. You use a determination, Aether? Yes, I already did, and I got a three. Oh, no. so I rolled. Uh, okay, what was your stress at? Three. Uh, it was at three. Okay, we are at a you're... fourth stress. You are. Yep, Marcus stress ended one determination. In a oh. one shot, are you about to roll up a new character? Are we oh, gonna no, you're meet just... someone on the other side of the lake? No, 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 no. You're just dead. <laughs> the sky where am I gonna come for me? Per, per how the per how these sky. are done, just like we did with uh the, the doggo doggo heist. When you're done, you're done, yeah. You just you're dead, you're just dead. All right. All right. I think Larry's gonna start casting less spells. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, what is your stat order? Uh, three, two, one, wizard battle sexy. So casting less spells is not actually good for us. No, no. You need to be casting spells with less ambition. I need you guys to stop being sexy and start being useful. <laughs> but being sexy be clear, is how I'm useful. Pretty much by the rules of the game, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Qu quite possible. Quite possible. If I can't seduce it, I don't know what to do. Also, I beat up your fucking base fish. You're welcome. I, I didn't summon that. What are you talking I about? I rift hammered it in the face. No, Emphasis you just... on the rift. <laughs> <laughs> so are we still stuck in the middle of the fucking lake? Well, I guess <clears throat> someone's well... going to have to start rowing. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Fine. that uh, you failed. <laughs> to mobilize macro. Failed? You, that was a failure. Uh, oh, so, Larry, you again try to send out a call and summon fish to aid in pushing the boat forward. You feel the magic take hold. You feel something be summoned in the water. Um, 
and probably a couple of seconds later, there's suddenly a thud, and there's a long blue protrusion of something sticking up straight through the wood from beneath. Larry! And then it just... And you now are taking on water. Apparently, uh, instead of summoning a mackerel, uh, you accidentally ended up summoning uh, what would be a bluefish. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I think that's what they're called. Uh, they the really long, pointy shits. Bear bug, first of all, bear hug, first of all, freaks out. Second of all, takes the butt end of the rift hammer and puts it over the hole. Okay. You are now sitting there with uh, your and hammer now, holding and, in the and hole. Bear... <laughs> We're leaning into this. Okay. And bear hug looks at Larry and says, damn it, Larry, this is how you, uh, I need more. Larry, what other fish ones you got? What, you need a fish? Uh, uh, you got rainbow uh, trout? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god, you have hard for a fish. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a, a hmm. name a fish, V. Oh, blimey. Haddock. Uh, haddock. We already went with, uh, well, well, herald no haddock. Fish. And uh, uh, Bear Hug would like to herald a haddock <laughs> to, to push us along. I'm rolling one die. Wait, wait you, you, you've got shadow magic, so it has to be a Oh, shadow. you're right. I can't do this at all. <laughs> you, you can summon shadow I summon the haddock a dead to haddock. <laughs> <laughs> you could. You could use your shadow magic if you would like to, to summon to... deceased haddock to be reanimated and <laughs> haddock her. us along. Nope, nope, I'm not joining in this. <laughs> see, see? I've, I've, I have a good plan if it, when this fails. You can attempt to do with When the, this the, fails, the... that's a six! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he's wow. That fish. Holy had it. Uh, Somehow, Haddock. some way, you watch as Bear Hug wields their dark magic and is able to call forth a undead haddock. <laughs> Which begins Does it fight the blue fish? Do what? Nothing. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> begins pushing the boat forward at a surprisingly reasonable pace because it's undead and therefore has no stamina issues. Huh. Bear hug looks utterly terrified <laughs> and far too terrified to look contented with himself. <laughs> Sounds uh, to me like he's just <clears throat> salty. <laughs> Don't don't be don't be me. I don't sorry, like I this. I don't like this at all. I can't. You don't. No, like I'm this? really into it. I'm just. I'm not good at this, and I have to find one really good one before we're done here. <laughs> don't be mean to him. He's still wet behind the ears when it comes to puns. <laughs> He's out of his depth. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, we threw him in at the deep end. <laughs> Ned's making another face. <laughs> I'm gonna go stand on the front of the boat. You know that this thing is where how you have you get like Nez, uh, get one leg up. Never come back. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have like one leg up on well, the front. I guess I've been schooled. Uh, there you go. Uh, Props. Good job. Uh, uh, he gets I like that. I did it. <laughs> he gets a free determination, one. right? Because I'm so happy. I feel sophisticated. Oh no, he's on he's on a roll, guys. Guys, I'm making another face. This is so fun. Let the record show he's all happy. the time. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's amazing. <sighs> I'm gonna go stand on the front of the boat. Okay. How big a boat are we dealing with here? It's a rowboat. It's not that big a boat. It's a rowboat. It's not that big. I just kind of like fish. move around you. I move around Larry. I put one leg up on the front of the boat and I just like, I like a good Captain I'm just Morgan. trying to see. Yes. Yes. Exactly like Captain Morgan, except really sexy. Um, I'd say, I think you mean Captain I'd say, Morgan. I'd say, I'd say George Washington crossing the Delaware, but it feels like the wrong uh, pose given our nationalities. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just going to be looking on the shore. I want to see what's there when we arrive before we actually have to just before we go, bam, we're on the shore and now we're screwed by whatever you've put here. Um, I would like to get some sort of visual idea of what's going on first. Okay, so getting pushed along, you get probably about halfway across the lake before something strange. We're happening. halfway across the lake. 
halfway. <laughs> Halfway across the lake before something happens. It's probably around, like, noon the next day. Oh, By the way, the, the bartender was just lying to us to get us out of this fucking this town. This bartender sucked. <laughs> and we did not test theories. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we you, committed to a bad choice. You're moving along, and you notice a mist beginning to form along the surface of the water. And very quickly... It begins to engulf your vision. The entirety of this lake seems to be covered in a very thick mist. Okay, so now... If you've, in fact, seen the show, The Mist. I mean, I, I saw the... Isn't, isn't, didn't Tom, uh, Tom Jane do a version of a, a movie of it back, in, back and it wasn't great? Uh, I think so. I know there was a movie that like they did that was terrible. Like a remake of the John Carpenter mm-hmm. classic? And then there was the newer TV show they did, which was actually apparently really good. Or at least, as far as I understand, I think it's still going. Also, I feel like there was... Oh, no, that was The Fog. I was thinking of the Tom Welling, the kid from Smallville. He did oh. one. <laughs> well, Tom you know Jane was in yeah. our version of The Mist. <laughs> from 2007? Yes. Tom Jane was? Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> Thomas Jane. Yeah, okay. This very thick <laughs> mist Thomas begins Jane. to surround you. And from in the mist, you hear... You know, usually my prey are all back at the village. I don't... Why are you out here? We are Team 69. We make the first move. You hear a chuckle (laughs) that kind of reverberates all around you. And... You are clearly not fishermen. <laughs> Please look at this body. I'm not a fisherman. Please look at it. <laughs> Usually we use that body as bait. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. I was clever. We're corrupting him. We're very slowly corrupting I'm him. so happy with this. <laughs> I'm so proud. But I'm really surprise, glad the entire catfished. second season of Encounter Party is already recorded, or they would hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, why are you suddenly making so many of these puns? Where did this come from? And they're from? all fish puns. <laughs> TLD. It's all TLD. <laughs> Blame those assholes. Oh, yep. Uh... I'm okay. Well, I'm going to reap your souls now, so... What? If you oh. could stay, like, well, stay right there. What? No. But, sweetie, honey, Are you going to go slip into something more comfortable? <laughs> I mean, I could. Why don't you join us on the boat? We'll make it a real party. Who says I'm not already here? Well, honey, you're not showing anything worth a damn. I like leaving things to the imagination. That's there what ugly people say. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> See, this one gets it. I'm gonna reap him last. <laughs> uh, can you not reap us and also stop reaping people? But I'm a specter. And you hear off in the, like, very far off in the mist somewhere, you hear, I'm training. <laughs> uh, oh no! I'm sorry. Shut up. Who's shut up? Who's that? We got a student. Oh, there's a whole student teacher thing it. going on. Oh, I understand. It's the plot of at least ten of V's favorite videos. <laughs> no, I'm a specter. In training. Show us uh, some specting. Inspect us. Uh, um, s- spectate this. I like it. I'm into it. I, I, I Give us be a cast- spectacle. Ooh. Um, do we... Uh, what are the... S- normally people would just kind of run screaming like, ah, oh, no, don't. Well, we're on a boat. Where are we going to run, man? You know, that's a good point. Um, what are the specs on this, baby? Oh, that was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> high five. No, no look, high five. It's the, it's no, look, the 69 five. way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of a number between one and three. 
I give him the middle finger. <laughs> okay, I know. How's I said, that number for you? I, said, I know I said I was gonna leave you for last, but uh, that I'm was in the, the right middle number. now. No, that was, that was the right number. Dude, clearly. Oh, I got it. It was, it was one. Arts, I'm so mad at you right now. I'm so mad at you. You got put up perfectly for the joke. I know I said I'd reap you last. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, so mad at you. <laughs> uh, also, not to be a stickler, but one is not a number between one and three. Mm-hmm. There's only one. This is all live. Bearbug is saying. Bearhug is saying. <laughs> uh, there's only one number between one and three, and it's certainly not one because one is the first option. And it's not three because three isn't between one. And yes, exactly. It is three. We start to debate this. I'm trying to get to engage him in conversation. Maybe the well, the, you the see choice in front of you what is quite literally the most stereotypical looking ghost. <laughs> Essentially, just all white, two black holes for the eyes, and then the black hole O <laughs> for the mouth, <laughs> and then just the wispy looking oh, tail where there would be legs, <laughs> and holding in its hands in is like a very <laughs> shitty looking uh, like farmer's scythe. Like, not like the scary, ooh, Grim Reaper scythe, like a a farmer. It's it's not all about the size of it. I use the, uh, I use my knowledge of occult shadowmancy to, uh, banish the specter to another realm. Now that I can see it. I am going to need you to do wizard, uh, cast wizard. Do wizard. Roll wizard. It's not a good thing, guys. Um, I just, I don't feel like a hammer is going to do well here. This is also uh, the highest of difficulties. Clearly. I'm going to spend my one determination. Good choice. So you may roll 2d6 then. Guys, think good thoughts. <clears throat> You've got this, babe. Uh, sending, sending good wipes. And uh, uh, Bear Hug, like, so this, the, the sound that you're hearing of me, like, getting the dice ready is Bear Hug, like, doing stretches. Like, everyone has to wait for Bear Hug <laughs> to be ready for, for this. Everyone's the ghost like, is standing there. Like, Ugh, looking gosh. awkward. <laughs> At one point, like, pulls back a sleeve that somehow doesn't seem to make sense, but cartoonishly <laughs> oh, fits, no. and there's a watch. It's silly. It's always supposed to be a, a time No process. way. You no, bitch. I... Absolute bitch. Okay. I have two wizard rolls of six on a single die. So you, su- you succeed at a cost. <coughs> so you mark one stress. Okay. Getting and you turn your loincloth invisible. <laughs> and <laughs> something bad reveal, happens. Do not reveal the letters. You do your stretches, and the, the not quite a specter specter is kind of sitting there looking at the watch like, Can you hurry this up? Oh, honey, <laughs> no, honey, 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 he does not come early. That's true. I make it last. Mm-hmm. He's a very giving bugbear. He, he once said, clearly, I always... Quite, quite clearly. I always go first, but I also come last, is what he always said. You weave your shadow magics. <laughs> and then the ghost seems to start to fizzle and shimmer and seems to pop out of existence. However... What a great pop! The really? scythe... <laughs> Apparently not so much. Oh. You watch the scythe kind of just... Can thunk. I shoot it out of the air? <laughs> you could try. <laughs> With magic? Give me a no, battle. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> battle. oh my god, I forgot about the fire cannon. Or whatever, yeah, ember cannon. Ember cannon, I asked for it to be a danger. So I, I, my leg is still clearly up on the side of the boat, so I just reach into the holster that's like uh, in my Do you glasses. have a thigh holster? Of course I do. Get Jessica it, Rabbit Jessica. has a thigh holster. It's got to be sexy. <laughs> Yeah, she Get pulls it, it out. Jessica. She sees it spinning and like she just aims it forward and pulls the trigger. All right, roll for battle. All right, roll for battle. Four. Do you have any determination? No, I haven't failed anything. I've rolled <laughs> once. <laughs> so that's Unlike a failure. Us, she makes smart choices with her play. Uh... You gain one stress and one determination. Mm-hmm. And your shot is a failure. Boo. So... So now you have two failure op- uh, things going here. Does a bad thing happen, too? Two bad things happen. Oh, what? Oh, right, because I failed. Because you both failed. 
well, you succeeded at a cost, and then she just utterly failed. So you see the scythe spinning in the air, and you attempt to super cool and sexy, like, shoot it out so that it doesn't do anything bad. I kind of, like, catch it on the holster a little bit, like, oh, this is way too high up. (laughs) Like, this is supposed to be sexy, it needs to be further down. (laughs) Mm -hmm. You pull the trigger. Sexy, not practical. Sorry. And now the scythe cuts into the side of the boat, and water begins slowly pouring in. Meanwhile, your bullet hits the, the boat, and you see a spark of fire starting to slowly spread I, on the we, wood. It's we a kept, real ember cannon? Uh-huh. We can't be taking on water and be on fire at the same time. One of these has got to cancel the other one out. Uh, we, exactly. We Not yet, like, though. Kick, kick the water that's screwed in the bottom onto the, onto the fire. Just like Easily screwed. done. Yeah. The fire is out. You are currently taking on water. <laughs> I, this is probably a bad time to tell you I do not know how to swim. Uh, we oh. all assumed that. <laughs> yeah. Fair The mist is beginning to dissipate. It is, uh, disappearing, slowly fading. Uh, Hug Hug the Bear Bear yells out, uh, uh, Hug Bug, sorry, uh, yells out into the mist, Who's the other one? <laughs> and can you save us? <laughs> yeah. We'd love to fight you too, and this wouldn't be fair. Look how good looking we are. Look at his cheekbones. They're underneath the beard. If you if you look, they're pretty they're pretty good. You're gonna regret not seeing our faces. Before we drown. Before we drown, yes. <laughs> Being that this is an in can and this is supposed to be a thing that's not really supposed to happen. One of you roll sexy. Me. I'm doing it. This is very, you, very are difficult. You a three, are you a three sexy? Yes, of course. Of course, of course, course darling. The two of you are useless. <laughs> I'm useless. Style. Both of you have three in sexy and two in fighting, which means both of you have one in magic. Why do you think I've been summoning Salma this whole game? <laughs> to have, make up for the lack of I magic. Have, I have impeccable style, so as I'm like trying to taunt them, I have like the gun held in a very sexy pose. Also, like just to be clear, I've rolled magic twice with a single die, and I've been doing fine. I got a one, followed by a two, followed by a three. You fucked up. Okay. Oh, That's a failure. Simulation. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> two. <laughs> Still a failure. Can, can someone else try to be sexy? <laughs> How many stress do you have before this? Uh, I had one. Okay, no, you're good. Yeah, I'm totally fine. <laughs> now I have two stress and two failure. Uh, one determination, because yep. I used one. Can, can, hmm? can there be a sex and sexy second? You're always my sexy second. Yeah, see? If you would like to try. I would love to try to sexy up whoever's hiding in the mist. Please, Go ahead. let's try and sex up the specters of this world. Okay, so I got three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're dead. You're so dead. <laughs> um, I don't suppose you have determination. Uh, no, I spent it on the, uh, last roll. Oh, no. <laughs> and your stress was at what? A two. <laughs> okay. I am going to... Ned, I will let you decide <laughs> what Bear Hug's fate is for how he passes from the realm of the living. So, Bear Hug, sensing that there might be trouble in River City... <laughs> Capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. Uh, steps up to the front of the boat to do his classic leg up, almost showing the goods pose, but forgetting that it's a boat. <laughs> and he steps, a sinking boat. He steps onto the side, which causes the boat to rock. <laughs> and Bear Hug it instantly face plants the water. Now, something that we didn't think about is that Bear Hug insulted the ancestors of the glorious and majestic and regal base fish. (laughs) So this base fish has been following the boat, looking for an opportunity to get payback. Uh, And as... As... (laughs) As Bear the Hug drop on hits him. <laughs> the water, 
and his and the 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 wax that was keeping his mustache in such a glorious <laughs> shape dissipates and it floats into just an ugly looking face. Out of nowhere, you hear a Seinfeld bass line. <laughs> <laughs> as it bites down on Bear Hug, enveloping him whole, and is dragged into the deep. Out of respect for my friend, I don't watch him die, because I know he wouldn't want anyone to see him in that horrific state. I'm so sorry. You hear, you hear as you fall. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I loved you, but I won't look at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your death would have you been. <laughs> and thus went Hug Bug, <coughs> the bear bear. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, now, the two of you. Just the guy in the mist. <laughs> uh, are we seeking slower because Huckbug the bear bear went down or? We may be able to swim, but we may be able to move a bit faster now. I mean, he left, left his so-called rift hammer in one of the holes, so I'm just going to put my thumb in the other hole. <laughs> Wait, are you expecting me to row? Do you still I'm have expect- a scythe? Is there a ghost scythe chilling? Is it it was a physical scythe. Is it floating? No, it's metal. Ah, that shit sinks. It's 90% wood. Okay, yes. Yes, I am expecting you to be useful. <laughs> oh no, darling, I don't do that very well. <laughs> I know, I've noticed. <laughs> uh. <gasps> Excuse me, strange person in the mist. Are you there, darling? It's no response. Well, shit, we seem to be on our own. Okay, uh, okay, so you put out the fire. Uh-huh. I plugged the hole. You did. And I summoned all the fish earlier. Yes. And then he stole my idea and summoned more fish. Yes, it was an excellent idea, Fitz. Ca- can you summon, like, a holy fish to push us? A holy <sighs> fish is a, is a, is a good what fish to have. What is the lightest of fish? A holy mackerel. A flying fish? Thank you very much. Oh, I, that I, was, I summon that was a holy mackerel. Notch. I have one in wizards. Just beware of this. I want you to know if you fail, you're summoning a, a holy shit. Okay. <laughs> I got a five. Okay. I've seen my friends do this many times. This can't be difficult. Uh, you succeed at a cost. That's fine. I'll take it. So I'll take one stress. So here. mark a stress. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you lose all your teeth. No. <laughs> no. Well, that makes it easy so, for some things. <laughs> you summon a mackerel <laughs> made of light. That's disgusting. <laughs> hey, you've literally put the word sexy battle wizards into this. You have to deal with the consequences. I didn't put anything into this. I just picked the game mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and said, I have a stupid idea, which is kind of our MO for this podcast. It is absolutely okay? our MO, yeah. <laughs> you summon a holy mackerel. And begin pushing your now damaged, busted ass rowboat back towards the shore. I now lean back in the boat and put my legs up on the sides, um, watching uh, Larry plug the hole. I've done my part. <laughs> You're doing great work. Thank you. You are. Something bad is going to happen, though. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, <clears throat> uh, so, um, uh, who gets, uh, um, 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 bear hugs part of the money. Oh. Because I mean, he had a sponsorship. Oh, he had everything going for him. Oh, no. Struck down in the prime of his... Yes. Influencing. <laughs> the prime Who of his in- influence. Who will inherit his, his He Twitter. was but a budding content creator. <laughs> Pour one out for Hugbug. <laughs> uh... A big, uh, yeah, um... Why? What? Why? Why what? Why do you want to know who gets his stuff? I don't know, I'm just making small talk. Oh, okay. My, my thumb really, really hurts, and I, I can feel I'm the... I'm sorry, I can't put these paws in there. I've just had my nails done. You don't have any nails. You had them removed. Claws. I have claws, babe. Okay, yeah. That's I, I have to make the joke anyways, because I think it's too fun. As you are being pushed along in the boat, you're... Light, holy magic seems to have gone astray in your casting. The holy mackerel is still pushing you along quite well. 
But then the, you notice the boat slowly filling up with holy shit. <laughs> it's essentially just piles of poop, but glowing. Okay, so uh, we have two choices now. Mm -hmm. uh, you can shovel that out of here, or you can switch with me and put your thumb in the hole. Oh, no. Your choice. The real question is, which one of you is better at fingering holes? <laughs> if I have claws, clearly not me. She just paws at it until somebody screams. <laughs> it's a rough... Ned, Ned's making a face again. It's a rough line. <laughs> It's hard listen, to listen. I never to. said that we were perfect. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Well done. Mm. <laughs> uh, I have an idea, but but you can also cast your magic or try to uh, I don't know convince the shit to leave. I'm not going to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a statement or? <laughs> oh no, that's an absolute statement. I'm not going to try to do shit. Um, I will. I will d remove the poop. Oh, okay. Good. good. W with your derringer. No, I'm not using my derringer. I have a little bit of respect. <laughs> I, I will. I will. I will throw the poop out as it arrives. Okay. You get your hands very dirty and shitty as you begin scooping the poop out. Scoop the poop. It's a very specific musical theater reference if anyone wants to tweet at me later. <laughs> Hashtag scoop the poop. Hashtag scoop the poop. And Hashtag. while you're at it, somebody fill me in on what it is, too. Hashtag TLD. <laughs> it's pot. very specific. Oh. Okay. I definitely need to know later, then. Casey will probably know. <laughs> What's up, Casey? Uh, so, takes you a little while, especially being that uh, it's a single holy mackerel. But you are able to make your way back to shore. Uh, nobody thanks you. Nobody even wants to acknowledge you. They kind of look at the damaged boat and seem to have some inkling of who you are. Apparently the uh, tavern keep spread the word that a certain group of people showed up. Everybody kind of just clears the way and gives you a, what you assume to be respectful distance. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm going to take it. I think it's mostly the smell, though. There might be some odor involved as well. Holy shit is still shit. And you make your way back to Galveston. Grunk gives you uh, your share of pay. And, uh, and leaves where these... does Hug Bugs go? Where does uh, Hug Hug Bug Bear Bear Hug Hug Bear Bear Hug the Bug Bear? I just really like Hug Bug the Bear Bear now. <laughs> hug Bug the Bear Bear. <laughs> Where does his share of the money go? I think we... S I think you should would give it to charity. like to invest it. Mm -hmm. In? I feel like we My should undies. invest it in... I promise to invest it in my undies. If they make a bug bear, bug hug, hug bug, the, uh, the exclusive print that everybody wants. So I want his face over everyone's underwear. Just on the okay. Front. <laughs> Give everywhere, me just everywhere. One final before we end the game. One final sexy roll. <laughs> I'm going to use my determination because I want this to work. <laughs> okay. What if this kills? That's you? a one. Ah. I'm so hoping she was going to roll four ones. <laughs> Six. I was sort of hoping it, the final roll of the game would kill another character in the name. I was part of, the part of me was hoping. How would I die in this situation? <clears throat> of I go pick up the underwear. I get like covered in underwear. The <laughs> underwear begins filling, also with holy shit. No, 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 no. no we're not going to die before. Uh, <laughs> it takes some finagling. It takes a lot of uh, charm and sexiness, but you are able to work out a deal with my undies. Mm -hmm. That allows for uh, Bear Hug's face to be prominently displayed on all of these undergarments. Mm -hmm. And Kino is uh, questionably all the better for it. Will never be the same again. <laughs> Not after this one shot. <laughs> and okay. we're, we're, that's the end. We're done. <laughs> I'm gonna we're done with that. <laughs> I'm going to cast cold cramps on her underwear. 
Oh no! <laughs> I hate you so much since I gave that to you. Yes, you I did. literally sent him a Discord message saying, "Cool crap." Hey there, guys. Arch here. I wanted to say thank. you. It's me again. Hi, guys. That was so much fun. <laughs> uh, did you have as much fun as me? It was so much fun. <laughs> but I think a lot of you people already left. <laughs> um, I got a lot of stuff done today. Um, uh, I didn't finish, obviously, but uh, I got more done than I thought I would. <laughs> um, I'm, I also... <laughs> I also think I'm going to end uh, the stream here today, but uh, you definitely gave me a, a lot of uh, nice ideas to work with. Maybe I'll, I'm, I'm going to think about like putting the like clouds or something there. Someone mentioned clouds and thunder stuff. I think that would be uh, very fitting here. Like, I don't know, the skull just coming out of clouds or something. Ribbons! Ribbons! Yeah. And maybe also the... Um, what was it? Double ones thingy uh, burnt off. I'll, I'll have to think about how to realize this on this thing. But that's actually a good idea, the the burnt off double one tattoo. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I should po probably go on to chatting mode. <laughs> this makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I... Uh, how many of you are still there? I don't think I only see uh, V and uh, Aethor and uh, Wolf of the Borderline. <laughs> yeah, definitely have fun at your retreat. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. It was uh, a lot of fun. I'm very tired today for some reason. I don't know. I, I was planning on doing like uh, another one shot, but these things are very long, <laughs> like two hours long. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go into the... I'm gonna quit the stream now. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.